place Saturday in the Alamo Bowl. Uh, Mike Ducey joins us this morning. Wow, this was a shocker when we heard. Yeah, Lauren, uh, Tim, it really is surprising. Uh, just two, two days before his final collegiate game in that Alamo Bowl against Oregon, TCU quarterback Trevon Boykin arrested by San Antonio police early this morning after a bar fight. Boykin is accused of hitting a patrol officer at just before 2 o'clock this morning outside Pat O'Brien's bar and restaurant in San Antonio. Video here of Boykin being led out of a police van escorted into the Bear County Magistrate's office. Boykin is charged with assault of a public official resisting arrest and public intoxication. Police say that some people inside the bar recognized Boykin. Words were exchanged. Police say Boykin allegedly took a swing at somebody, but instead accidentally hit an employee of the bar. So bar security moved the scuffle outside. That's when a bike patrol got in, involved, police got involved, and, and police say Boykin indiscriminately hit an officer. Police threatened to tase Boykin and he then, uh, he then calmed down. Uh, Trevon Boykin was, was an All-American quarterback at TCU last year. A senior this year battled through some injuries, but still threw for more than 3,700 yards and 31 touchdowns. Came out of West Mesquite, not that highly recruited out of high school, but uh, built an outstanding college career as one of the top quarterbacks in all of college football here last year and this year. But he was projected to be a wide receiver in the NFL because of his skill set, very fast, great runner, and a bit of a long shot to make it as a, as a quarterback. Again, Boykin uh, had an ankle injury late in the season, so Coach Gary Patterson was forced to go with backup quarterbacks against Oklahoma. And Patterson may be forced to do the same now in the Alamo Bowl game again as uh, his starting quarterback and really one of the great players in the history of TCU football, Trevon Boykin, arrested by San Antonio police early this morning. Tim, Lauren? What, what is Gary Patterson's reputation as far as putting up with nonsense? Because this certainly would qualify as nonsense. You know, he had the Casey Paha uh, drunk driving incident right. uh, a few uh, years ago. Uh, they ended up, you know, he ended up, Paha ended up going through rehab and came back and, and was a player again for TCU. And I guess maybe ironically, uh, Boykin was, was the backup who, who played when, when Paha had his trouble. I, I don't know which way Patterson will go on this. The, the, there's going to be a lot of pressure on him, obviously, to not play Boykin, given the, inc the uh, nature of this incident involving a police officer. On the other hand, uh, Patterson's like every other college football coach. He wants to win games, and he'll say he want, you know, possibly wants to give his uh, senior an opportunity to play in his final game. Or Patterson, and I, we haven't heard from him yet. Obviously, TCU has released a statement through a sports information official basically saying they don't have anything else to say right now. But uh, you know, Patterson could fall back on the old, well, it's an ongoing investigation, and until it's solved, we, you know, we're, we're going to play him. Uh, only one more game to go. So we'll see uh, what Gary Patterson has to say about it a little later today. Yeah, the fact that they said that they were, they threatened to use a taser on him just uh, makes it sound like it was really escalated. Yeah, so yeah. doesn't sound like just a misunderstanding. Yeah, just. If you look at the police report. <laughs> no, and. and you know, two nights before your final college game, uh, there's not a lot good that's going to happen at two in the morning at, at a bar, and clearly uh, something bad happened for Boykin uh, early this morning in San Antonio. Yep, a little shocking there wasn't a curfew anyway. Thanks, Mike Ducey.